Hey guys, Danny Johnson here. I have a few parts on the table here. These are out of a 03 SVT Cobra and uh, it's on a project that I'm rebuilding at the moment. So if you look back at some of the other videos, you can see how to pull the engine out and disassemble it. And uh, so anyway, just uh, hope you're following along. If not, subscribe. But uh, basically what I want them to do real quick is make a, a movie on something that's really controversial. Uh, something that happens a lot with these engines is pre-ignition and because they're supercharged basically what this means is as the pistons on its way up compressing the air fuel mixture uh, if there's not enough octane or if it's uh, really hot and uh, if the ignition timings advance too much what happens is the fuel pre-ignites before it's supposed to so as the pistons on its way up before it's supposed to the fuel explodes okay and so this can uh, cause some significant damage because of all the pressure that's being exerted on these pistons as they're still on their way up instead of going back down. And so what happens a lot is um, a uh, spark plug, because of this pre-ignition or just the spark plug being loose itself, will get shot out of the cylinder head. Okay, it'll be pushed backwards the way that you would screw it in. It gets punched out. And so everybody thinks, oh, the, uh, the piston slapped my spark plug and punched it out, okay? And part of the reason they think that is because the grounding strap on the spark plug from the explosion gets smashed down. So it would look that way. I understand why people think that. It would look like the piston slapped the, uh, made contact with the spark plug and, and shot it out. But uh, really what's happening is the spark plug is loose it hasn't been tightened on good preventative maintenance and the combustion pressures alone mixed with some pre-ignition or pre-detonation can punch it out but what I wanted to show you here is here's the cylinder head and it's on uh, it's upside down right now so we're looking at the valves here here's our intake valves and our exhaust valves and I screwed a brand new spark plug right smack dab in the middle so if you look at this, um, the valves, yes, they go, they protrude into the cylinder quite a ways to where if your timing was off, if the timing chain had broken or whatnot, and a valve was sitting inside the, the cylinder, then it definitely, you could have some contact and, and really mess the engine up and bend the valve. But uh, the spark plug is stationary, and as you see here, it disappears as you go level here with the, uh, the cylinder head. So it's pretty far down in there. It's not sticking out and even if this grounding strap, uh, which is another thing on these boosted cars, you usually have your your plugs gapped. This is gapped at 0.028 so it's a pretty tight gap. Um, but uh, that's another reason why that uh, grounding strap really wouldn't be that close. So if you, t and then you have to remember that there is a head gasket in between here giving you a little bit more thickness but uh, basically the piston here would have no way of contacting the spark plug without hitting the cylinder head first and on top of that as you know these uh, pistons are dished from the factory and uh, so there's really no way for the piston to contact that spark plug. So just to put that theory at rest, that's why uh, it's not really possible to have a spark plug uh, get shot out from the actual piston making contact with it. Once again, if there's a pre-ignition explosion and this is loose, then the explosion itself, I guess, could be enough to bend that grounding strap flat to give it that look and then uh, if it's not threaded in all the way, then there is enough force to shoot that spark plug back out to the cylinder head. Anyway, just wanted to make a quick movie on that, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks, guys.